Hello and welcome to today's question. And today's question is Excel 2016 for Windows and Excel 2016 for Mac. They have the same name. Aren't they just identical? For example, if I had a course on Windows, would I be able to use it as easily as if I had a course that was written for Mac? Well, let's have a look. So what I've done is I have got here on my Mac a window for Mac Excel 2016 and a window down here for the Windows version. And you can see they start out relatively same. We've got some differences on the left hand side though. So if I'm going to open, I have to click open over workbooks on the left hand side and I'll click open over here. So we have a browse button here as opposed to an on my Mac. So let's click browse, let's click on my Mac. You can see the interface is a bit different, but if you're used to the Mac, this probably is fine, except it also could be that you are storing more on any of these other devices. Anyway, however you start, let's just create a new workbook. So I'll click on new and I'll click a new button here. So. you can see that superficially, once I get into this, they do look very similar. However, note that there is one big difference and that is an extra set of menus. In the Mac version, this set of menus doesn't exist in the Windows version. And part of the reason for that is some of the things that you see on the Mac version in the toolbar aren't there that are there in the PC version aren't there in the Mac toolbar. For instance, find and uh, select over here in the Windows version simply is not there in the Mac version. You have to go to edit, find, find. So if you're creating a course, for instance, for Excel 2016 for Windows, you find it very difficult if you're using a Mac to find the actual location because it's in a completely different place. Let's see if the user interface is the same. Well, let's save this workbook. And we both go to a file menu, but what we see in the file menu is completely different. So in just look at the print options. We've got three print options here, whereas we've got one print option down in the Word version, in the Windows version. Now let's do something advanced. Let's um, put in a formula equals B2 times C2. So that is fairly similar on both. But now let's see the formula in here, in the actual pane. So I can do that very easily by going to the formulas toolbar here in the Windows version and click show formulas and now we can see equals B2 times C2. I go to the formulas bar here, show formulas, slightly different place. But there is an alternate way of getting at this. In the Windows version I would go to file and I would scroll down to the options section and go to advanced and scroll down so that we can see formulas. So it, they are show formulas and cells and I'll check that. In the Mac version, I'd go to Excel, which isn't there in the Windows version, click Preferences, completely different dialog box that we've got. Now I went to Advanced here. I'm actually going to View in the Mac version and there we can see that we've got the formulas checkbox there. So some early functions going to the Excel, going to the file menu, quite different. Some advanced functions, quite different. What about some intermediate functions? Well, if I click on this FX insert function, that gets me a pane, a, a dialog box over here. Whereas if I click the FX here in the Mac version, that gets me a pane over on the right hand side. So in summary, difference between the Windows and the Mac version includes completely different file menu, different uh, settings menu, 
different functions menu. If we go for something that's more intermediate, in the Windows version, you've got these little drop down boxes which allow you to open up a dialog box. We don't have those in the Mac version. Instead, you have to go to Format Cells to get the same thing. And I could really go on and on. If you went to Data tab, you'll see, for instance, there's a huge section, the Get and Transform section, which isn't there. So, really, if I were you and you wanted to learn a Mac version of Excel, then I wouldn't really go for a Windows version of the course. I would choose a Mac version because, first of all, what if you don't have two buttons on your Mac? You'd be pressing Command, so Control and click to get the right hand mouse button. That simply wouldn't occur to anybody teaching the Windows version. Secondly, you're going for all of these extra options that you've got here in this extra menu, which aren't here in the toolbar. And there are also cosmetic changes as well all over the place. So for that version, reason if you want to have a course on Excel for your Mac, I probably wouldn't buy one that was created for Windows. I hope you enjoyed this question, so thank you for the question, and I'll see you on the next video.